on March 31st, 2018, Zlatan Ibrahimovic scored two goals for the LA Galaxy. This year, he did it again. Let's talk about it. Wait, did you say Slatan <laughs> Ibrahimovic? <laughs> Shut up, dude. Good Galaxy Nights. What is up, Galaxy guys? This is Football Galaxy. And this is Vaporiso. And welcome to another episode of Good Galaxy Noche. <laughs> Good Galaxy Nights. The Noche. Good Galaxy Nights. My friends. Let's take a moment in memory. Let's go to memory lane. Remember the time, the greatest day in Galaxy history after 2017. On March 31st, the Lion of Los Angeles, the God of Goals, whatever you want to call him, there was an earthquake in LA, like like at nighttime. And it was when Slatan stepped on the earth, on the earth of the city of, of angels. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Slatan Ibrahimovic... <laughs> Stepped on the field of what used to be Stubbup Center. Rest in peace. Now it's DHS Park. You mean the Galaxy Center? Galaxy. <laughs> We're gonna call it the Galaxy Center from now on. That's that's the, that's the thing in a podcast. He stepped on the field and he scored two amazing debut goals that marked the beginning of the Slaton era, both in Major League Soccer and in the LA Galaxy. And he defeated the other team this year. He did it again, and he defeated the Portland Timbers with two goals, scoring, I quote, a panenka, and I have no clue what the heck that is. Please put in the, please put in the comments what a panenka is, because I don't know what it is, what that is. But the point is, he scored once again two goals, just like in his debut last year of March 31st. Well, all I can say is uh, Ibrahimovic stepped on the fields, and it was against the Portland Timbers, because they lost bad. The game should have ended three to zero. Slatan should have gotten a hat trick. That bicycle kick, if had if it had gone in, the Timbers would have gotten a spanking. Yeah. And Slatan would have stolen Carlos Vela's spotlight from that hat trick. Ooh, you just said the Vela word, man. That not cool, bro. Oh, sorry. Not cool. Sorry. We should censor that. We should. Fred, why didn't you put a censor? Gosh dang it! You should Beep. Put... Yeah, he should, have... he should. He should have put in a censor. My bad, guys. My bad. Anywho, Slatan is a spotlight because he pretty much scored two goals for the Gal for the Los Angeles Galaxy. And we put the win. Four games in the season, three wins, not bad at all. So I've heard people say that Ibrahimovic was uh, taking dives. I, I guess you could possibly see that in the first foul, but no way the second foul. No way. The Timbers goalkeeper just pile drives and he's just yes. like coming through. And he just bulldozered. He just bulldozered. And uh, even the, because they were saying how, like, Ibrahimovic kind of put him in the first foul. He kind of put himself in a, in a situation uh, where the guy would hit him or whatever. But that guy hits him pretty hard. Yeah, come on. I mean, the guy's like full body weight. Boom! So, if you pay close attention, uh, Ibrahimovic just rockets the first penalty, the first PK um, to the left of the goalkeeper. So then, when he takes his second one, he totally psychs out the goalkeeper by going in the opposite direction, and he does a finesse shot. Totally catching the guy off, off base. Classic Ibrahimovic. What I found funny, though, was how when he made a little sneaky chip kind of a kick, the goalkeeper, he missed it, but then he sort of got up, sort of didn't, try to swipe it out and still missed. My question is, how did he not... Still being able to stand, why didn't he fully stand up to at least try to block it? Because it was like a lazy stand up, like movement he did. It was, mo it was, it was, uh, it was his momentum. Uh, when he he lunged at full force, where he thought the ball was going, so kind of like when he goes the opposite direction, it's almost an afterthought, and it's just like he didn't have enough momentum. So, mm. 
Yeah, I mean, kudos to Zatla. I think he realized it like like it was like bad timing. Like later, he realized like he went to the he went to the right, and like he realized that the ball was going to go up. But by the time he did, it was too late. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So besides Slatan Ibrahimovic, you also got a uh, well. Portland Timber scored a goal, and we got to talk about that goal. That was that 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 that. Goal was stupid. Like David Bam getting out of position when the other dude was clearly leaving the goal wide open for the other guy to shoot it in. The Galaxy defense completely screwed it up so bad there. That was just a stupid goal that the Galaxy should have not let in. I'm kind of 50 50 on the Port and Timber goal. Um, half of me says right on. I mean, you know, it's a great goal by the Port and Timbers. A lot. A really good little display of tiki taka there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On I the guess. other hand, I'm also kind of like I don't like it because LA Galaxy's defense is bad, and I'm kind of I'm not on the on Bingham bandwagon. So I'm kind of like, can we get somebody else now, please? Like Ochoa. Thank you. Like Ochoa. <laughs> well, speaking of defense, I'm sure Ochoa would be great. Actually, yeah, yes. Well, speaking of defense, we're still waiting for this new Giancarlo Gonzalez player who the Galaxy still haven't sealed the deal with. Um, I mean, is it official? I mean, no one, ha no source has indicated that the transfer, the transfer has been completed or it's official. Were you still waiting on that? Galaxy fans out there, like, still waiting for that. The question is, is it is it going to be official? Because like, there's people have been talking about it, but there's still no confirmed answer. Now they there, now there have been some articles. They have said that the Galaxy are getting close to to finishing the deal. But the thing is, it's been like, well, like almost like two weeks. We're still waiting for that transfer to be completed. And still, we haven't got a single word from both the player and the Galaxy. Okay, so I'm going to say a very unpopular opinion here. I was on board the Jurgen Klingsman bandwagon. And I realized everybody hates his guts. Everybody wanted him out. And I'll be the first one to say he really screwed up at the World Cup. Starting off with not having Landon Donovan on the na on a um, national team. on the national team, and then it was just kind of one bad call after another. I realized he totally screwed up the World Cup. I'm not going to go into that right now. My point is that his strategy was he had a certain strategy of pulling players, you American players from Europe. I love that strategy. That strategy is no longer being done right now. Anyways, with this, with the new. LA Galaxy coach needs to do is start pulling players from the Argentinian League and the Uruguay League and you're going to see LA Galaxy skyrocket because those leagues are producing great young stars. Well, Diego Polenta, he comes from the Uruguayan League. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, there were also some rumors that GBS was going to get uh, players from River Plate and Boca Juniors. But those was just rumors. That never happened, and I'm pretty sure it never will happen. I mean, I mean, it could, but like so far, it hasn't happened, and it doesn't look like it will happen. But like the only rumor, which is kind of tr like it's well, like like I, this I, rumor of Giancarlo Gonzalez is on the brink of becoming into a fact. But the thing is, there hasn't been any confirmation of whether he's going to come or not. Here's the thing: what this guy needs to do, and I forget his name all the time, but what, GBS, G yeah, GBS. <laughs> uh, what he needs to do. Is that he needs to go to these clubs over there, get this their hot new talent, and be like, hey man, they're like, you want to play in the MLS? They're going to be like, no, I don't want to play in the MLS. You want to play with Ibrahimovic? Heck yeah! Well, That's how you get him on. Well, that is you dangle can. You dangle Ibrahimovic like an air freshener right in front of their face, and you sign those guys up real quick. Slatan comes over and says like, you play for Slatan. You play for victory. Or something like that. I'm sorry. Please apologize. I I, I apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried my best. Okay. Oh, give me funny. give me a break. That's I tried my funny. best. That's too funny. I mean, you can't really, you can't really imitate Slaton. You know, he's like too much. How about David Bingham? Like, do you think we should replace David Bingham? Like, David Bingham sucks. I look, hate him. Look, okay, hang on. You have to admit he is better than Brian Rowe. Oh my gosh, anything is better than Brian Rowe, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, my dog's better than Brian Rowe. He, have you seen him catch frisbees, man? And even Clement Diab, who was even more worse than Brian Rowe, even David Bingham is better than Clement Diab. Like, Come if on, we were of, all lucky... the goal, of the goalkeepers the Galaxy has had for the past three years, David Bingham is so far probably the best one. 
Oh my gosh, that's so sad to think about. <laughs> like we could have Ramaldo, but we don't. We can imagine I mean, having Ramondo, Howard. I mean, Ramaldo sucks. Howard sucks. How, they're better than Bingham. I, I, I'm sorry, my friend, but I kind of. Feel no, no, agree. I don't. I don't agree with that. I'm sorry. Anyways, like you had mentioned earlier, Mexican goalkeeper Ochoa. Ochoa. Yeah. You oh, oh, but he's probably too old though. Bravo. Bravo. Because he's not really doing anything in Europe. Uh, in M- Man City. Man in Man City, City, yeah. Imagine Bravo coming over to LA, to, to the LA Galaxy. Bravo still has that could it. Work. I really like Bravo. I, I have confidence. They can all, they, could, they could loan spark. him just like they're doing with Antuna right now. Yeah. For why Man not? City. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Come on. Man City are not using Bravo. Come on. Why not why not why not uh, use him for the team? We could use a decent goalkeeper. Yeah. Um what I was gonna say was that you do know that the Galaxy technically doesn't have a second striker, right? Slatan is technically the only striker in the Galaxy right now. Right. I mean, yes, we did see Ethan Zubak. GBS brought him from the Gal- from the, they, they pretty much signed him from LA Galaxy 2. But he, one, he already made an appearance, only one appearance. And two... He's back in Los Dos. He was playing recently against the Pullman Timbers too. Hmm. So that technically, I don't. In my opinion, that doesn't make him technically a second striker. So here is my question to the Galaxy: Are they still searching for a second striker, or are they going to, or or are they just going to stick with what they have? In my opinion, I think they should look for a second oh, striker. Oh, I, I agree. They should have a uh, uh, look a second for, striker. Yeah, what yeah. happens with uh, Ibrahimovic when he goes down again? Exactly. That's the thing. Then we're screwed. Well, the thing is that GBS has put on Tuna as a striking position, but that's the thing. And Tuna is not a natural striker. He's a winger. Right. So I'm like, uh, I think they should like at least try, uh, like maybe like get Zubak. Like if you're not gonna find someone, then stick with Zubak then, right? But don't. But he, he moved him to Los Dos. Again, let's where he came from. So it's like, what's the point of getting Zubak? I was gonna put him back to the LA Galaxy two then. So it's like, we don't have a second striker to be honest. You know what I mean? I mean, you got Efrain Alvarez, but he's like a year. He's like he's sixteen years old, not really a professional striker yet. So. So what do you think? You think LA Galaxy goes to Europe to try to get an older striker that's retiring, kind of like with um, uh, with uh, uh, Wayne Rooney. Or should they hit South America, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, and try to get and try to get a young, up and coming striker well, it from also, over there? It also does depend on how much money they have. Yeah, but if they get something from our, if they get uh, somebody from uh, from those countries and they're young, they're not going to be that much. True. Like Wayne Rooney, I think they probably pay through the nose to get Wayne Rooney. I think South America, in my personal opinion, is probably the way to go, because you get a cheaper. Up and coming star, yeah, and balanced out with the season season veteran, that's Ibrahimovic. Yeah, I think I think you should go with South America, because right now players from South America are coming to the MLS and they've been dominating the league. You got Raúl Ruiz from Cerro Sounders. Joseph Martinez is not doing so good, but he is the best striker in the in in league history. Right. So I think I mean there was a rim uh, there a river. There was a river. There was a rumor. Uh, not too long ago. About a river. About Galaxy trying to get Dario Benedetto from Boca Juniors, but that never really went anywhere. Okay. But if they okay. got him, I think that would be amazing. He's he's a good striker. He's one of the best strikers Boca Juniors has had in in, now, in a few years. Let's talk about retiring uh European uh fo- forwards. You know who you know who's the first name that comes to mind when you say that? What? Van Persie. He's still not. He he's he. Van Percy would be a good fit. Yeah, I I can see him in the as the gal in the galaxy. I'd like to see Chicharito in Galaxy. That would be oh, that would be my second dream come true. Yeah, heck yeah. But um, I don't think no no I don't think West Ham are gonna let him go. Now one guy I'd like to have see in the Galaxy, but I just think he's too egocentric to be in in, in MLS is uh, Alexis Sanchez. There's no way he's gonna come over here. No way. Yeah, nah, I just nah, think nah, he's nah, just nah, too nah. full of himself. But yeah. Alexis Sanchez. Might be on the downswing in Europe, but not for MLS. I mean, if I he mean, did for come MLS, here, he's probably crazy fast. If he did come here, he would dominate the league. Oh yeah, even if he did, I think. And he, you, but again, here's the thing: this is the thing where LA Galaxy needs funds, 
LA Galaxy, because, okay, you've got a lot of retirees in MLS, yeah, okay? unfortunately. With Wayne Rooney probably being the second most famous name in the whole league. Guess who has the most famous name in all of MLS on their squad? That's your trump card. That's how you get a, 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 an Alexis Sanchez. Like, imagine, hey, Alexis Sanchez, you want to play with Ibrahimovic? Heck yeah, I want to play with the legend. Yeah. So that's how you get a European retiree. You have to use Ibrahimovic as your trump card. Yeah. Well, I mean, even if he did come to the MLS, I don't think he would he would play for the Galaxy. I think he would play for Inter Miami. Because Inter Miami, even though they don't have a squad yet, they yeah, still have probably. a big name which everyone in the world knows. David, David Beckham. Beckham. So those rumors, those little minor rumors about Messi coming to MLS and playing for Miami, oh my gosh. I would not would be surprised dominate, a bit dude. if that is he for would real. Dominate. And uh, and also all the other MLS teams would die because it's Messi. If you like him or not, you still have to admit he is the best among the best players in the world. Yes, among. Thank you very much. We do live in a world where CR7 exists. Yes. <laughs> so grow up, Messi fans. Hey, hey, uh, hey, Messi fans, remember when Ronaldo scored a hat-trick in the World Cup? Because I do. <laughs> what if Ronaldo went to the Galaxy? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that'll never happen. Yeah. Keep on dreaming, kid. <sighs> so, yeah. I mean, who's the other person who is like kind of like ready to retire who you can imagine for the Galaxy? <sighs> you know, the Brazilians... There's tons of Brazilians that, Yo, have, that, have, already, that have already peaked um, a long time um, ago. Hulk. Hulk. Exactly. Or Oscar. Or Polinho. Yeah. And I just... I could see Oscar and Hulk in the MLS. And don't forget Alexandra Pato. The act, there's <laughs> actually a little rumor right now about the Galaxy talking with him. But so far there hasn't been negotiations. Oh my gosh. If they got Hulk on the LA Galaxy, you could have this whole thing about like, you know, the Hulk... In L.A. with Hollywood, and they could just build like the Hulk is coming to the L.A. Galaxy. Like the way, like the way the they did with Slot Time. Like, the way, to the LA Galaxy. like the way they did it with Slot Time when he came. Yeah, in. exactly. It was it was Slot Time Wood, not Hollywood. Slot Time Wood. Yeah, you could make this whole thing about like uh, you know L.A. Galaxy unite. You know, like you the go. whole Avengers twist thing. Yeah, yeah. A galaxy assembled. There you yeah, go. Yeah, Galaxy assembled. There you go. <laughs> okay, so you got Hulk, you got Paulinho, you got Oscar. Um, how about Iniesta? But no, I think Iniesta's settled oh, in Iniesta's the Oh, Iniesta's way league. past his prime. Yeah, he's out of here. I think I can see Alexandro Pato. Hopefully, if he does come to the Galaxy, I think that would be, uh, people would love him. Because that rumor about him coming to the Galaxy has been like a rumor like for about like, what, two years? So, yeah, I, I can see him in the Galaxy like you know, as a striker. So, who else could, who else could retire and show up at the um, at LA Galaxy? Eventually, maybe Obama Yang. Mm. I can see Obama Yang in LA, big time. No, not me. I'm sorry. What about uh, Neymar? No. You can't see. No, I can't see. I can't see any of these players. <laughs> I think they're gonna. Use I can see Neymar in all, in LA definitely. Mm, but know. I'm talking about like an old Neymar, kind of like, <laughs> kind of like Ronaldinho when he's like all fat. <laughs> you know who I can see? You know who I can see in the galaxy like later in the future. Raul Jimenez. Yeah, maybe. Or Harry Kane. But that's like tw 12 years from now. Maybe Harry Kane. He yeah, could be like the maybe. next he could be like the next uh David Beckham. I'm not saying that Harry Kane is as good as David Beckham, but you know. What about Hazard? Nah. You know, there was a rumor. About like two years ago, about Andre Pierre Gignac from Tigres coming to the Galaxy. The Galaxy oh, did talk Gignac. to him. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Galaxy yeah. did talk to him, but he said no, and he was okay being in Tigres, so we can scratch him off the freaking list. What do you think of Mario Batal Balotelli? I can see him as the gal in the Galaxy, even though I'm pretty sure he would be like. I could see I him think, stateside. I don't know if I, I think could see him in the gonna, Galaxy. I but. think he's going to be that like typical like bad mood player that, that people that the team would not like. Oh right, right, troublemaker. Yeah, the troublemaker, the typical troublemaker, Mario Balotelli. Well, I still okay. I, I'll give you Neymar. Maybe Neymar could never come over here, and c come to MLS, but I could definitely see Obama Yang. Yeah, possibly. Like Obama an older Yang. Obama Yang, yeah. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna wrap it up like that. Post in the comments of who you guys can see as the as the Galaxy next strike next striker, and uh, and yeah, just put put you guys op opinions, comments, and 
and uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for listening. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And tell everybody you know, your boss, your neighbors, that chick that you like at the cash register. Stay tuned for the next episode of Good Galaxy Night, uh, where, where we will be reviewing the next match of the galaxy against the Vancouver Whitecaps. Woo and until then, have yourselves a good, good galaxy, galaxy night. night.